Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing the cards that my team of collaborators made using the February 2021 sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Today's video is one of my favorite ones that I get to make each month. I'm going to be sharing a quick look at all of the cards that my collaboration team made for the month. Now these are always shared on the second of the month when I share my process, all of the team shares their first set. If you haven't yet seen that video or went and visited all of their links, I will link the video below and everybody is linked in the description box below. We have creators here on YouTube, creators on blogs, and over on Instagram. I know that they would love for you to stop by, see what they created, and leave them some love. Some of you might have already noticed a new name or a new channel on the team this month, and that is Karen Aiken. If you don't already follow her, make sure to go to the link in the description box and click that subscribe button over on her channel. Her cards were featured in this month's thumbnail, so you have already gotten a peek at those, but later on in this video, you'll get a closer look. Thanks so much for joining us, Karen. Speaking of leaving them some love, over the weekend I did announce my big giveaway in honor of my 15,000th subscriber. So if you haven't already watched that video, it will be linked at the end of this video and in the description box below, but you could enter to win one of six possibly seven $25 gift cards. I hope you'll check that out. And if you do enter, good luck in the giveaway. This video was a little bit delayed this month. Usually I try to put it out between the 10th and the 15th, but I was a little busy at those times, not only getting ready for that giveaway I just told you about, but I also participated in a fun live event over on Mary Gunn's Craft Roulette channel. She has started a new series, which is live here on YouTube, and it's called Cut the Crap and Create. And she's just going to be getting together with various types of crafters, they're not all card makers, and just chatting and creating and letting you get to know more about her and who her guest is. I had a load of fun getting to know Mary better and getting to let some of you know me a little better. I did also share a quick peek at my craft room if you want to check that out. Once again, that video will be linked in the description box below. I've also been crafting a little bit for fun lately. Mary and I talked about that on her live and over the weekend, I made a few cards that I didn't make videos for. I did share them over on my Instagram account, so if you ever wanna follow me there, you can find my link in the description box almost all the way to the bottom. But at the end of this video, I will share with you a quick look at those cards I have made. But now let's get to what you came for, the Collaborator Showcase.
before we get to the creations from the Instagram team, I thought I would stop by real quickly with the QOTV or the question of the video. I have so been loving getting to learn a little bit more about each of you through these questions. Now normally they have to do with crafty stuff because hey, it's a paper crafting channel. But I thought for today, I would do just a fun question because here in just a minute or two, one of my cats is going to be making a special appearance. I thought it would be fun to know, do you have any pets? Let me know in the comment section below if you do or don't and anything else you want to share and make sure to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that you want me to see your answer. Wasn't that a fabulous showcase? It is always fun every month to see the video put together and see all of those wonderful creations. I just love that no matter what papers or embellishments you use, that it's easy to use sheet load of cards for that jumping off point. Now, as I promised previously, let's look at the cards that I've made for fun. I created and shared the three cards in front of me over on Instagram that I made between Saturday and Sunday just to get crafty. I don't always get to do that because usually when I come to my craft room I am making something for a specific video, but it was fun to do this and just make these just because. Over on the left was a card that I made on Sunday. Each week my mom, my sister and I get together for a little crafty Zoom session since we can't really get together in person now. And we tried the spotlight technique. Now I have done this lots in the past and I love it and it made me remember why I love that technique. The floral stamp I used was from Simon Says Stamp as well as the sentiment and I colored it with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and added some gems that kind of matched that flower. Now, I know for sure that this is not the color of that flower, but I don't really know what is, so I just used some colors I thought looked nice together. Over on the right is a card that I created using the latest parameters from Craft Roulette. Now you might have already known about this from when I have guested on it, but every Friday night live on Facebook, Mary Gunn has a fun live crafty game show kind of. She spins the wheel four times to figure out what parameters will be used for the week. And then you have a couple days to make a card and submit it. Now during the live event, she does have a guest crafter and they both create cards with those parameters. This week, it was a card with a circle, orange plus two colors, a stencil and plants. So this is what I went with. The plants were cut with dyes from Sizzix. I stenciled the clouds in the background using a tailored expression stencil. And then of course I added some white embossed dots to take up some of that white space. In the center was my first mini slimline that I have made. I love this size now and I know that I'm going to keep making them. And once again I used the spotlight technique. The stamp set is from Simon Says Stamp. It came in one of their card kits. And I decided that I would kind of highlight or spotlight one of the houses to go along with the sentiment that says, home is where the Wi-Fi automatically connects. Lyndon, my cat, wants to check the card out too. Now above the little Wi-Fi lines, because this is home obviously where the Wi-Fi connected, I did add some stickles. Hopefully you can see the shine there. And for my little gems, 
I used some Diamond Dots Freestyle Gems. I bought these at Joann's in Little Vials. You get tons of them. They come in almost any color you can think of, and they're just easy to add with some liquid glue. I hope you enjoyed getting to see all of the collaborators' cards, as well as these three that I made for fun. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.